we have to connect first we have to give, uh, do the D supply for this equipment by this cable and this is the cable which we are going to use we have, which we are going to apply the voltage for the cable for the testing cable okay once we uh, give the supply to the to the voltage we, we have to open the switch we have to on the switch here and after that we have to on the key from here then it will take uh, maybe 5 to 10 seconds for wake up and there is two option uh, we can start a new test by manual by using manual mode or we can uh, use the preset uh, sequence okay anything we can uh, select by using this ring <coughs> okay now we are going to uh, make uh, we are going to preset on test okay for that we have to take report and setup by clicking here we can select the option then uh, we can go to edit auto test sequence select and from here we can we have to select from here there is uh, option for back select edit delete and new we have to select the new then click next then the option will become what is the device under the test by uh, pressing here we can select anything generator motor transformer switch gear vacuum bottle cable now we are going to test the cable so that we have to test we, can, we have to select the cable by pressing here the cable will be select and by rotating this one we can go to the next option okay then the next question is what is the voltage rating of duty so uh, we have to select the voltage rating of the cable now we are going to test the cable so that the cable is 3 by 500 cable and uh, the voltage rating for the cable is 13.8 kV 13800 voltage so we have to test we have to take the values here 13.8 kV by rotating this we have we can test uh, we can uh, select the voltage rating so we are going to take uh, 13.8 okay now this one 13.8 then we can press so it will be selected it is also t uh, already t selected so by rotating this one we can go to the next option okay the, then the next question is what is the type of insulation there is a different type of insulation XLP armor type by selecting this one we can rotate uh, we, we will see the options EPR or PE or PVC or hybrid or, uh, or other if there is any other option we can select other or XLP the cable now which we are going to test is xlp so we are going to uh, select the xlp okay then next uh, test function there is different function maybe for maintenance maybe for acceptance what is the purpose of our test is we, uh, we can select from here there is dif uh, different options acceptance diagnostics or maintenance now we the our cable is a new cable so we are going to select the acceptance so we selected the acceptance then we can go to another option then we can apply the wave forms uh, different wave forms by sine wave or square wave or triangle wave there is different options in this equipment so now we need the sine wave so we will select the sine wave once there is the black shade comes it means it already selected so after that we can rotate this one it will be go to the next option then the frequency usually we are going we are selecting only 0.1 hertz that is the usual uh, frequency which we are going to apply by using this equipment because this is VLF test VLF means very low frequency okay very low frequency we are always usually applying the low frequency for testing that's why we are selecting 0.1 hertz 
so next option how many steps actually there is three phase for this cable okay uh, so we can maybe uh, it depends upon the customer if we can test by phase by phase by phase or all phase together so we can select one step or if we want to select three phase different one r phase yellow phase three phase, uh, red phase we can select three step okay now we are going to test one time so that uh, we can select one step then next uh, test voltage there is uh, we have to apply the voltage test voltage but we have, we can see there is k v rms v rms we have to test the voltage in rms value okay not in the ac value so there is a calculation if uh, for this calculation 13.8 into how many phases 3 so 3 13.8 into 3 which means uh, we will get 46 divided by root 3 we will get value 24 kv okay this is the ac voltage okay so for by uh, this formula we have we can calculate vrms so 13.8 into 3 divided by root 6 or root 3 into 2 or root 6 we, we will get uh, 7 16.9 kv rms okay so we are going to test uh, 17 kv almost 17 16.9 which means 17 so we have to uh, select 17 now we selected this on 17 kv rms so we are going to apply 17000 rms voltage okay then next then this is the duration for the test how many minute how many second how many we can select usually this one from sigo their requirement is 30 minute so we will select 30 minute okay then we can go for next and there is important option there is two option trip out on arc and there is one more option burn out on arc okay if the cable is good if the cable is new we can select trip out on arc so that if there is any damages in the cable occurs it will be automatically trip out okay if we select burn out on arc if the usually this one uh, we are going to uh, select for old cable or any damaged cable so if the cable have any damages it will be increase the damage and it will be burn out completely so that we can find easily where the damage is okay so now it is good uh, new cable so we are going to test we are going to select trip out on arc so any damages it will be automatically trip out next okay only like this the all settings will be saved already so now there is uh, this one already saved in the test okay now we can go to test we can take main option main okay if we come to main uh, there is new option for start a new test we can select start a new test then do you want to save a report we can save the report itself on this equipment so yes and we can go for next this one face a the after that we can uh, select manual or auto sequence okay we can, we have to select manual if we are going to uh, test this one apply voltage by manual okay we can select manual okay if we select auto sequence the preset sequence will be come automatically okay so we are going to select auto sequence and we already uh, saved this value zero four one five zero nine eight two four one five one one three this substation number we selected this one and next then the old details will become accept and test test voltage 17 kv rms duration 30 minute waveform 0.1 hertz trip out on arc okay then we can start by 
pressing this green button we can select but before that uh, there is one indication we have to remove the emergency off button by releasing this one and start by using green button it will be start Now it already start. We have to calculate how many, uh, how much we RMS RMS value we have to give. So uh, it means we can calculate by 13.8 rated voltage into how many phases? Three into three divided by root three. Which means we will get almost 24 kV. This is AC. This is AC. This is the peak value. Okay. This is not RMS value. Okay. If we have to calculate RMS value, this is the same equation 13.8 into how many phase 3 divided by root 3 into root 2. Again, root 2. Which means 13.8 into 3 divided by root 6 How much will it be? 16.69 will it be? Which means almost 17 17 RMS Yeah, calculation will be done 13.8 Okay Into 3 Divided by Root 6 16.9 16.9 okay which means 16.9 matlab 17 so 17 rms voltage apply karega to humko kya milega we will get 24 kv ac that is shown here we are applying 17 kv rms voltage okay we can see here ac ac always negative and positive always that is shown here up to 20 the which is going from negative going up to negative 24 kV but then after that it is going to up to maximum plus 24 kV which means AC this is AC and this is RMS voltage there is two voltage this is always fluctuating which means <laughs> from 0 to 24 and from 0 to minus 24 same as is waveform Okay, from here we can identify how many voltage AC we are uh, applying. And this is the calculation for 13.8 into how many phase 3 divided by root 6, 17. If it is 13, 33 kV, <coughs> it is symbol 33 into uh, how many phases 3 divided by root 6. We will get uh, almost... 33 into 3 divided by root 6 40 40 point 4 RMS this is RMS for 33 kV yeah. okay that's all and uh, this is the connection diagram we have to connect the phase to any phase of the cable and uh, itself there is one grounding we have to connect the grounding and uh, there is one equipment grounding also and from here we can give <coughs> the main supply